Let's look at the question together. Now this question has a really big introduction or rubric, so let's start with that. In the first step in the production of cement, limestone is roasted. The calcium carbonate with the formula CaCO3 in the limestone undergoes thermal decomposition to form calcium oxide with the formula CaO and a gas. The calcium oxide is the desirable product. So let's think about the important information here. In the first step in the production of cement, limestone is roasted, is interesting but not desirable for us to answer this question. The next sentence says the calcium carbonate, that's important, and they've given us the formula, which is also important. And the calcium carbonate's in the limestone and it undergoes thermal decomposition, which is a chemical reaction where heat, the word thermal there implies heat, is used to break down a substance into simpler substances or decomposition. And it forms calcium oxide. And the other product will be a gas. And they've also given us the formula of calcium oxide there, which is important to note. But they haven't told us what the gas is. It's an interesting point there. The calcium oxide is the desirable product. That means this is why we're doing this particular reaction in industry. We want the calcium oxide. We don't care about the gas and that will be released into the atmosphere. So let's look at the question together. Part A. Write a balanced symbol equation for the first stage of the manufacture of cement. So what's the command word here? The command word is write. What other key information have they given us? They want a balanced symbol equation and they want the first stage of the manufacture of cement. So we're going to start by thinking about the reactants and the reactants is only one in this case and that's calcium carbonate and we need to write that formula down to be the starting point. So calcium carbonate is the reactant, the starting chemical and that's going to make for us calcium oxide because they tell us that here in the rubric and it also makes a gas. So what gas is it going to make? Let's have a think. Well if the calcium is used in the calcium oxide and one of the oxygens is used in the calcium oxide, what are we left with? One carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Hang on, that's CO2 and that's a gas. So now we just need to do a little check that it's balanced, that every atom at the start is found in the end. Let's have a look. One calcium to one calcium, brilliant. One carbon to one carbon, brilliant. Three oxygen atoms here, one, two, three oxygen atoms. So this is balanced. Let's look at part B. Calculate the relative formula mass of calcium oxide. Given the relative atomic masses of oxygen is 16 and calcium is 40. So what is the command word? The command word is calculate. What information do I need to be aware of? They want me to do the relative formula mass of calcium oxide. Now, the first thing I need to think of is, hang on, I need to know the formula of calcium oxide. What's that? No worries there. It's in the rubric. It's given to me. So the formula of calcium oxide is simply CaO. Now, remember, we're calculating the relative formula mass. That's the mass of the whole of the formula of calcium oxide. So we need to do the mass of calcium plus the mass of oxygen. Now, with any calculation question, I would recommend that you write out the full working out just in case. So the mass of calcium is given to us, that's 40. And we're going to add the mass of oxygen, which is also given to us, which is 16, which gives us a relative formula mass of 56. Now, there is no units for relative formula mass and no units for relative atomic mass. So the answer is simply 56. OK, let's look at the last part of this question, part C. The relative formula mass of calcium carbonate is 100. Calculate the atom economy for this stage of the industrial process. So what's the command word here? The command word here is to calculate. What key information have I been given? I've been given the relative formula mass of calcium carbonate. And what they want me to do is calculate the atom economy. Now, atom economy is a measure of how many atoms in the reactant make it into the useful product. So it's the mass of the useful product 
divided by the mass of the sum of your reactants times by 100. As before, I would very much recommend in doing all of the workings out. So, we're going to do the mass of the desirable product, which is 56. We're going to divide that by the mass of all the reactants, which in this case is 100. And then we need to times that figure by 100 to make it a percentage. And you're going to get an answer of 56%. Now, where are the marks? There's one mark for working out how much of the mass of your desired product there is compared to your starting material. You get a mark for correctly multiplying by 100 because we want it in percent. And we also get a mark for the actual answer. Now, if you chose to write just 56%, you'd get the three marks. But if you'd accidentally typed something wrong into your calculator, but you got the working out correct, you'd still get two out of three marks. So you should always aim to put your working out in full.